So in this video, we're going to be looking at combustion reactions. Now, the combustion reactions that you'll be most familiar with are probably ones to do with alkanes or alcohols. So there may be an oxygen in here as well. And in complete combustion, they will form, they will react with oxygen and they will form carbon dioxide and water. Now we can also have incomplete combustion where there's a limited supply of air. You know, we'll put a we'll put a half here. There's a limited supply of air and maybe carbon monoxide. This is obviously not balanced, but um, carbon monoxide is produced instead. So, let's think about how we could, how we could draw these four um, alkanes being combusted. So, first I'm just going to start off with methane here, CH4, and it's going to add with oxygen O2 to form CO2 and water H2O. Now how can we tell if this is balanced or not? Well we can use the obvious method one carbon here. So there's one carbon here and now we have four hydrogens here. There's only two hydrogens here. So what I'm going to do is put a Two right in front of here. Now we have four hydrogens here and four hydrogens here and four hydrogens here. However, let's count our oxygens. Here we have two oxygens, here we have another two oxygens, so we have four oxygens. But on this side, on this side here, we only have two oxygens. So we can completely balance this by putting a two here. And as you can see, this is now fully balanced. We have one carbon here, we have one carbon here, we have four hydrogens here, and we have four hydrogens here, and we have four oxygens here, and one, two, three, four oxygens here. So maybe let's look at maybe some more difficult examples. What about C5H12 at O2? Just pause the video here. And see if you guys could try and balance this one on your own. So the products of this reaction are going to be CO2 and H2O. Of course, this is I'm just talking about complete combustion here. Now, first, how we can do this quickly is we know there's obviously one carbon on this side and the carbon here is with the carbon dioxide on this side. So we know in order to balance it, we're only going to have to use the numbers for these two molecules. Now we know there's five carbons here, but only one carbon here. So we're going to put a five right here. And we know there are 12 hydrogens here. We'll do the hydrogens in yellow. We know there are 12 hydrogens here. Whereas on this side, we know the water is the only molecule that contains hydrogen, so we can just focus on this one molecule here. And we know that there is two hydrogens here. So in order to balance it, we're going to have to have six hydrogens to make 12 to equal the other side. Now we just count up the oxygens. There's five times two, which is 10 oxygens here. We'll do the oxygens in blue. There's 10 oxygens here, and then there's six oxygens here. 10 add six equals 16. And what is 16 divided by 2? Well, that is 8. So we can fully balance this equation here by putting an 8 in there. Now if we count this up, we've got 5 carbons here. We've got 5 carbons here. We've got 12 hydrogens here. We've got 6 times 2, which is 12 hydrogens here. And here we have 16 oxygens. And here we have 10 add 6, which is 16. So what about what about an incomplete 
combustion. Now, incomplete combustion can give off many different products. So an incomplete combustion could give off it could give off carbon dioxide, it could give off carbon monoxide, it could give off just carbon particles, and it could give off water. So I'm going to write down an equation uh, reaction here, and you guys just pause the video and see if you can try and balance it. So I'm going to I'm going to use butane H10. So in this reaction, we're only forming carbon monoxide and water. Now, try and pause the video here and see if you can balance it. Alright, so first off, we know that there's four carbons here, and we, only, we know there's only one carbon here. So, your first step would, would have been drawing a four here to balance off the carbons. Now we know there's 10 hydrogens, there's 10 hydrogens here, whereas there's only two hydrogens here. So the n step after that would be to put a 5 here to balance the hydrogens. Now, obviously, we just count the carbon, count the oxygens. There's four oxygens here, and that is five oxygens here. Well, what is 4 add 5? Well, 4 add 5 equals 9, and what's 9 divided by 2? Well, that's going to give us 4.5, 4 and a half. So that's how we're going to balance our oxygens. And you'll see in most incomplete combustion reactions, there's normally a sort of a whole number and a half here. So you'll, you'll normally find a half in front of the oxygen. Now I'm going to do one more here. We're going to do, going to do octane. C8H18. Add O2. I'm going to change it up a little bit. We're going to form carbon dioxide. We're going to form just carbon and we're going to form water. So see if you guys can balance this one here. Just pause the video. So, first of all, we can see we have. Well, what I'm going to do actually is start off with the hydrogens. So we can see we have 18 hydrogens here. However, this side we only have two hydrogens. Now I'm I'm actually going to do this in yellow just to follow the color scheme that I've been using. So we've got 18 hydrogens here. So this side we've only got two. So we're going to have to put a nine there because what's 18 divided by two? That's nine. So now we've balanced our hydrogens. And let's look at our carbons. Well, we've got eight carbons here, but we've and we've got two carbons here, so we've got six left. So what I'm actually going to do is just what I'm going to do here is we need we need six carbons, correct? But we've only got two, so what's eight minus two that equals six. But really, what we're going to want to do here is probably put four here and four here. I mean, you could do, you could have maybe eight, eight carbons here. Oh, uh, my mistake. You could have seven carbons here. I think we're going to go with that. But I mean, you could have balanced this anyway, really. And so what this this means is we've got eight carbons here, we've got seven carbons here, and we've got one one carbon here. And that in total makes eight. I mean to balance it you could have you could have theoretically had probably six here and two here. That has still made eight. But we're just gonna go with we're just gonna go with seven to make it a little bit more organized. And so let's count our oxygens. Well this side we only have two. Here at the forward of the reaction, we only have two, and here we have 14, 14, 7 times 2, and here we have 9. Well, 14 add 9 
equals 23. And what's half of 23? Well, half of 23 is 11 and a half. So what do we put here? We balance off with 11 and a half. So this is a more complicated example. Obviously, if it asks you to write the incomplete combustion, you would probably want to just use a simple example like carbon monoxide and water. So we're going to go back to complete combustion here. However, we're going to use an alcohol. I'm just going to put a simple alcohol here. Just going to put ethanol here. And alcohols react similar. They can they combust similarly to to um, alkanes in the way that in complete combustion they form carbon dioxide and water, CO two H two. Now see if you can pause the video here and try and balance this for yourself. But if not, that's what I'm here for. So we have two carbons on this ethanol here. And we only have one carbon this side. So we're going to have to balance this with two carbons here. And that's our carbons balanced already. Nice. And this side, you've got to remember we have uh, two, we've got five lots of hydrogen here and a hydrogen here. So we have six hydrogens. And on this side, we only have two hydrogens. So we're just going to need to put a three right here. 3 times 2 is obviously 6. So now our hydrogens are balanced. Now all we have to do is count up the oxygens. Now remember, there's another oxygen here. So that's 1, 2, 3. So there's 3 oxygens this side. And let me count the oxygens this side. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Add 3. 4. Add 3 equals seven but because we already have three here what's seven minus three well seven minus three equals four so all we need to do is believe put a four here so now we have one oh my mistake put a two here one add um Oh gosh, I cannot do maths today. <laughs> so all we need to do, sorry, was for, here we have uh, seven oxygens. Well, just minus one gives us six. Gives us six oxygens. So we're taking away this oxygen over here. And then we can simply just half that, right? So we have three here, which means we have seven oxygens this side and seven oxygens that side. Sorry about that. You can see how it can get confusing quite quickly, but if you just work through it step by step, it will it will get easier. So I'll just do one more in this video. I'll actually, I'll I'll draw down uh, three three different reactions, and I want you to try and balance them. All. So here I'm just going to draw again. Okay. CO2 add H2O. Then I'm going to draw butanol. Oh my god. Right, add O2. CO2 add H2O. Then I'm just going to go for some crazy numbers here. What about? About something like 20, 22. And hydrogens, that's 44, 46. Add O2, CO2, add H2O. All right, so if you can pause the video here and try these for yourself. So for the first one, we know we have 10 carbons this side, but only one carbon this side, so your first step should have been to just Draw a five here, balance out the carbons. Secondly, we know we have 22 hydrogens this side. 
but only two hydrogens this side. So the step after that, you want to balance out your hydrogens. Now we have 22. Now we can simply just count our oxygens. We have 10 here, 10, add 11. We know it's 21. Now what's 21 divided by 2? Well, that would be 10.5. Um, 10.5. Five times two, ten, and eleven equals twenty-one divided by two because we have the diatomic oxygen here, and we have our ten and a half oxygens, and they should be fully balanced. Now let's look at here. We've got four carbons here, and we've only got one carbon this side. So we're going to balance this to put our four carbons here. Then we're going to count the hydrogens where we've got. 10 hydrogens here, but we've only got two here, so we're going to place a five right there. Now, the trick to this, because we know it's an alcohol, is we're going to ignore the first mistake that I made previously and count up the hydrogens this side. So here we have eight hydrogens, uh, count up the oxygens. So here we have eight oxygens, and here we have five oxygens, which adds to 13. Now we need to minus this one oxygen, this side, to give us the 12. And then we can simply divide that by 2 to give us 6, because this is diatomic here, and we have 6O2. So you can see now, we have 12, uh, 1 add 12 oxygens here, which gives us 13 oxygens, which is the same amount of oxygens this side. Now here, this should be easy. We just have a larger number of carbons and hydrogens. So to balance out the carbons here, we know on this side we have 22 carbons, but on this side we only have one. So what we can do is just write 22 right in front. Next up we have 46 hydrogens. We have 46 hydrogens on this side of the reaction. And on this side we only have two. So what is 46 divided by 2. Well, that's obviously 23. 23 hydrogens here. So now all we have to do is count up the oxygens. We have 44 oxygens here and our 23 oxygens here. Now 44 and 23 is going to be 67. And then we simply divide that by 2 to give us 33 and 1 half. And just quickly, I forgot to mention, but you can, if you don't like having these halves here, you can't do it for incomplete combustion, but for complete combustion, you can have multiples. Say, for example, I put here, maybe, I'm just going to use the last example, C22H46, and then add O2 to here, CO2. H2O. That would just mean double doubling all of these. So that 46, doubling that, that will be uh, 44. And we we could just double 33 and a half, which is obviously going to be our 67. Right here. So the these are both the same. They're just, this one's easier if you don't want to deal with halves, but obviously I would get into the habit of of writing the halves in front of the oxygen, because it's easier if you ever have to use incomplete combustion. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and you now know how to balance combustion reactions. Thank you.